Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Karen Reads. I'm sitting here in my living room in South Berwick, thinking that it would probably be a good idea to talk to you about my shaking. Um, I have something called Parkinson's disease. It's not a terrible thing. It won't kill me. It's not contagious. It doesn't hurt. Uh, I can do most things in my life that I want to. It just means that I shake. So that's what you're saying. Okay, we have a great book today. The Proudest Blue. It's written by a young woman who was an Olympic champion for the United States. She won a bronze medal in saber fighting, sword fighting. So she's very interesting. Um, so yeah, her name is Abidja Muhammad, and she got some help writing this book by someone called S.K. Ali. The art is by Hatem Ali. He was born and raised in Egypt and has done many books. I'm not sure where he's living now. But the proudest blue the story of hijab and family mama holds out the pink mama loves pink but asiya shakes her head i know why behind the, the counter is the brightest blue the color of the ocean if you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky. It's the first day hijab. Osea knows it. I know it. We're sisters. Next day, I wait. A new backpack, new light up shoes. I feel special. I feel like twirling. A seal comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. There's a seal wearing her, her hijab. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asiya takes my hand in hers, says, <clears throat> Come on, Fiza. We speed walk it. 14 steps, 14 light ups to get across. Asiya takes me to my line first, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again, louder now. A scarf, hijab. Oh, she whispers. Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. 
The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side. 27 steps to see a Sia. I need to give her another hug. Hug. I need to see her smile. Faiza, Aza's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited, I ask, about the first day of hijab? She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby, nearby, a boy pointing at a Sia. Why? A Sia's hijab isn't a laugh. A Sia's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said. But if you understand who you are, one day they will too. In class, I draw a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it so loud the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asiya drew a picture too. Recess time is for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asiya and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. Asiya's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asiya's hijab is blue, only blue. Asiya turns away, her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them, they are not yours to keep. They belong only to those who said them. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy.
After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts, but I only see a Sia waiting for me like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. We cross the road hand in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asiya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asiya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line in between them, saying hello with a loud wave, saying I'll always be here like sisters, like me and Asiya. Hi, I just want to um, show you a picture of the woman who wrote the book in her hijab and tell you that um, it was hard for her when she first started wearing it. A lot of kids teased her and made fun of her. And she just hung in there and stayed strong and believed in Allah and in her faith to take her through. So, um, okay, thanks, bye.